a few weeks ago, I was feeling stuck, feeling kind of blah, 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 not really motivated and just trying to figure out what the hell was going on with me. Those feelings were causing me some anxious moments that required me to sit quietly, required a time of prayer, a time to listen, and a time to get some rest. As a husband, father, big brother, uncle, friend, it was a difficult place for me to be. What if my daughters, adopted sons, bonus kids, sisters, brothers, nephews, nieces, what if they needed me and I could not be present? I thought about this, wondered, waited. Then this thought came to me, start a journal. I laughed because journaling and I have not had a great relationship We don't have a good history. I have been there and done that. You see, in the past, I started a journal, quit writing in that journal, and literally destroyed it. Like Shredder destroyed it. Because I was tired of reading the year after year accounts of the same issues, scenarios, concerns, drama, fears, and frustrations. It's been a few months since I made the decision to journal again, and this time I've learned some things about journaling. I've learned how to use my journal. My journal is a reflective journal. It is a place where I write my thoughts, emotions, feelings, reflections, good and bad. I self-reflect and I seek to learn from my experiences. If it's okay, family, I like to share those reflective journaling experiences with hopes that it will help you identify learning events that happen in your life. If you're new to this channel, my name is Frank Battle, a guy with a camera and a love for family, positivity, laughter, and people. So if you're down with this vibe, subscribe to this channel. Click on the button for the notification of future positive content. Stay with me and comment below if you're willing to take the challenge at the end of the video. As I reflect back on my journaling entries um, I realized that it gave me an opportunity to ponder each and everything that I had written I had a chance to look at it closely um, as I read through the entries I felt like I could feel the emotions and my thought processes for the moment I was writing It was amazing to see how a few random thoughts, you know, thoughts in that moment that had kind of taken over and kind of sent me swinging, sent me spiraling, sent me on a roller coaster ride in my emotions. It's funny how pausing and and allowing myself to take a look at those emotions through my journal, I could see clearly And I, for the first time, you know, I realized I hadn't t- intentionally taken time to really do that with my past journals that I had written and discarded. I think back in growing up, I was not raised to show emotions or um, share emotions. And, you know, quite frankly, I believe that, you know, it in my past relationships, you know, it affected some of my emotional connect connections with those that I was in relationships read, but, you know, writing has become therapeutic. I've grown and I've learned some things. Um, It's it's been a good experience for me just to have those thoughts transported out on paper, to see the ink 
write out exactly what's been in there in my head. Um, writing helps me release my uh, my pent up thoughts and emotions, and it's freeing. And it reduces some of the scatteredness in my head, and it allows me to critically capture the thoughts and emotions and process them. Um, and I feel like it gave me back control of some of the things that were going on. Um, it really helped me to map out and to learn some lessons from the stuff that I'd written out. You know, journaling is great, but let's keep in mind that it is one aspect of our healthy lifestyle for better managing stress, anxiety, and mental health conditioning. Um, I'll admit it's hard. Um, my history with journaling has not been that great, but I tried it again and before long, Taking a different look at a different spin, different perspective, it was all good. I feel like anyone can benefit. You could benefit from a reflective take on journaling. That's why I share this experience with you. Um, speaking of sharing, I shared my journaling experience with my wife, and it gave me an opportunity to say some things out loud. And hear myself say those things, you know, um, and to answer some of the questions that I had myself, you know, it really felt good. And even um, from our conversation with my wife and I, when we continued talking, uh, we talked about how um, this is an outlet to you, our extended family, and how, um, you know, the things that we do, the podcast, the YouTube channel, you know, this is some ways that we can share some of the things that we've experienced. So, yeah, we, we can share some things. And I've, I've learned some things through this journaling experience um, this time. And I hope that the next time you feel stuck, you know, a little anxious or on an emotional roller coaster, that you'll give it a try. You know, and if and when it does happen, I mean, I encourage you to to pause, to sit, pray. You know, do whatever you have to do to remind yourself that it's going to be okay. Because it really is. It's really going to be okay. So, um, to my brothers, fellas, you know, typically we don't journal. So, my challenge, I want give, let's give it a try. You know, grab a notebook. Let's write down some things. You can get a notebook from Dollar General. doesn't have to be nothing fancy. And just write how we feel. Just write it out. This is your space, your spot to do. Write out how you feel. You know, no one's going to see it. It's between you and the book. You keep it secure. And you're not worrying about spelling or sentence structure and all that stuff. So that's my challenge. So just take a deep breath and get you a journal and a pen and just write what's going on. In your heart, in your head, in your spirit. And then um, just take a look at it. This challenge, I feel, is a chance for your past self. You know, that person that's writing all that good stuff out. To, to lend counsel to your present self. The one who's reading. That's how I felt when I had a chance to flip back over some pages from a few days or a few weeks. And I could see even moments when I felt like I was being personally dramatic, um, that I jumped to conclusions as relate to some situations going on, that I had some thoughts about some people that, you know, weren't necessarily true. There was some perspectives that I had built from a place of anger or disappointment or frustration. So it gave me a chance to be honestly apologetic to myself, forgive myself for thinking that way. That's my experience and I wanted to share it with you. Oh, and since we're extended family, it was my wife's idea to share this with you all. So journaling has become a point where this introverted guy you know, it can be a little courageous and try some new things. Honestly, I'm not necessarily a fan of being in front of the camera by myself. 
but I felt I needed to because I wanted to help you because I love you and we're extended family. And by the way, it's okay for me to say to my brothers that I love you too because we brothers. So, to the brotherhood, the sisterhood, and anyone else that runs across this, I hope that something that I've said has been a help to you. Because having this opportunity for however long this video is, has been a help. <laughs>